I would like to welcome anybody watching this video to my Practical Stocking Stuffers Facebook Live. And here I am. Hello. I am Christy Lingo. I am a professional organizer in the Columbus, Ohio area. I have been working since 2009. And today I'd like to talk to you about some practical stocking stuffer ideas for kids of all ages in your home or in your office or with your friend group. Um, when I say practical, I know it can sometimes seem like it's boring or um, not exciting or not sparkly enough. Um, it, I personally am a huge practical gift person. Um, in fact, the people at my husband's work often make fun of him because, not because of him, but because I get things like vacuum cleaners or Vitamixes or KitchenAid mixers for gifts. And they laugh because they say, do you ever buy your wife anything that doesn't have a plug? And I personally like things like that because if you're going to buy me something, I want to get use out of it. I want it to be something that fits in with what I like to do or what I'm passionate about. And so for me personally, I love practical gifts. Now I know that not everybody on your list is gonna be this person. Some people need a little more wow factor and that's okay. But this is just sort of to balance the yin and the yang of holiday shopping. It's basically to give you some ideas that you can use that may be useful so that you're not just buying a gift for the sake of buying a gift. You're actually buying a gift that fits along with something that person is passionate about or that will be used after Christmas. And, you know, just not anymore, you know, scented candles and things like that, which are great. But, you know, this this is just a little a little step up from something like that. So um, the first topic we're going to talk about today is books. And um, the first one is a book called A Year in My Life. And this is a book from Us Born Books. And I was recently introduced to this book uh, for at my first Us Born Books party. And um, I was really excited about it because I love having a book like this to wrap up the day with my guys. Um, when we go to bed at night, we like to talk about what we've done throughout the day or, you know, what, what was exciting, what we learned. You know, sometimes when they first get home from school, they're not super excited about talking about what their day, what happened during their day. And so what this book does is it um, gives you things to sort of wrap up your day. And it's 365 days, I'm gonna show you there. And each day is a different sort of activity. So for instance, this here on day 27, you're supposed to write down all the things that are amazing about you. And day 28 is, Sketch a building that you saw today. So each day will have a different thing and you can do these at night before you go to bed. I'm sure you could probably figure out a way to do them in the morning, but it's basically just to sort of get inside your kid's head and figure out something that they might be excited about, something that they're seeing throughout the day, more so than just how was your day at school today or you know what, what did you like about today? Um, so the name of the book is A Year in My Life. It's available from Us Born Books. And this, along with everything that I'm going to talk about um, in this broadcast today, is going to be available. Uh, links to those products will be available in the Practical Stocking Stuffers photo album that is in on my Facebook page, Organizing with Simple Solutions. So if you go to that photo album, you'll be able to see pictures of all these products and then also a link to how you can purchase those products. Um, so next up, we have the I Like book. And this is actually our book. We've had this in our home for a, a year. It's Again, it's a year and it's something that you could do with your kids or with your spouse um, at the end of the day to kind of wrap up your day and talk about what you've done. And it comes in a variety of different colors and they are available on Amazon, but it's... Um, it's a little bit more expensive actually on Amazon. If you go directly to the manufacturer, which is the um, 
the link that I have in the photo album that's on there, you can get it for $8 right now plus shipping. And what I love about the I Like book is, again, it just is a way to end your day on a super positive note with your kids or with your spouse. And, um, you know, we have, you know, so it's got every day and it doesn't necessarily start on a certain day, but you can see here that we filled this up. This one is from about a year ago. And I would say things that I liked about my kids. They would say things that they liked about each other. Um, if the grandparents were in town, they could fill out an I like for the day for the kids or um, the babysitters would say something that they liked about doing it. And it doesn't have to be elaborate or whatever. It can be like, I liked eating pizza for dinner. But what it really does is it sort of ends the day on a very positive note for you and your family. So this is the I like book. It's by Meredith Looney. And like I said, it's it's best to purchase it directly from the website, which is available if you look at my Practical Stocking Stuffers photo album. Um, but you can get it on Amazon, and I'm sure it's probably available on other booksellers also. But the I Like book. Um, the last book as a stocking stuffer that I want to talk about is it's called Our Love Story. So this is going to be more for your partner, your husband. Um, what you're seeing now are the different covers that you can purchase for the book. Now, these run $41 regularly. They're currently having a special, and I think it's $38.41 or something like that um, to create your book. So this would be something that you would be able to write down how you and your special or your partner fell in love and so it's a great thing sort of for you to revisit all of those things that you did when you fell in love it's a way for your kids or other people in your life to know about how you came together it's a hundred percent customizable you can see in the picture there right now there is I love that we met on a blind date you can customize that to say whatever you want on the on the front and then there are pictures and logos and things like that, that you can put throughout the book so that you can tell the story of your relationship um, the really cool thing about these our love story books is that they uh, are unlimited in pages because they say that your love story shouldn't be limited by a number of pages so that's really cool that you know say you've been married for or 40 or 50 years and you want to sort of lay that out for both your partner and you know future generations to know what your love story is like you have unlimited numbers of pages to talk about all the things over the years that have created your personal love story so um, if you're feeling mushy gushy this holiday season maybe check out putting together a customized our love story book um, all right, so we have talked books. Now we are going to talk items for big kids. And first up, I want to talk Amazon Alexa. Um, I My husband bought me one of these, the Echo Dots, for Christmas last year. And I was not super excited about it at first. Um, right now, they are $29.99 on Amazon. Uh, they normally run $49.99. Um, and like I said, I was kind of like, what? Really something I have and over the course of the last year I have fallen in love with my Alexa so much to the point that we actually purchased one for our boys room this year um, for them for Christmas and one of the reasons I really like the Alexa is not only is it something where I can tell her to play music or I can get the weather report and things like that but I can tell her to add things to my calendar I can tell her to add things to my grocery list it is now to the point where I can use my cell phone through the Alexa app and I can call once my boys have theirs in their room. I can call up to them and talk to them as sort of an intercom system, whether I'm on the Alexa that's in our kitchen or I am on my phone and I can speak to them sort of as an intercom system. So for $30, you know, it can be an alarm clock. It can play music for them. It has storytelling functions. So say they want to go upstairs and listen to a story. There's a really cool skill that she has that's like a choose your own adventure story. So she'll be telling the story and then she'll say, should I do A or should I do B? And the kids choose and then the story moves on from there. So there's a lot of really cool functions that could either be for little kids or big kids. Um, it has been a great time saver for me as far as groceries because if I run out of olive oil or I run out of salt, I can say, Alexa, add salt to my grocery list. And then when I go to make my grocery list, I have the list of everything that I've told her to add over the course of the last you know, week or two 
two weeks, however long it's been since the grocery store. So I don't end up forgetting, you know, maple syrup or something like that that I don't use really often, but I wanted to make sure that I picked up the next time I went to the grocery store. So Amazon Echo Dot on sale for $30 right now on Amazon. It's really cool if you've got techie people, big kids, little kids, it can be a really fun little stocking stuffer to add to your home. Uh, next up, we're gonna talk the tile. And this is, if you aren't familiar, um, it's basically a GPS device for your um, keys, for your phone, for anything that you tend to lose sort of in your home regularly. Um, if you don't have a regular spot that you put your keys or your wallet or your phone, what the tile can do is send a GPS signal to either your phone or a web-based uh, browser app that you can open up. And you can see where within a certain amount of feet your tile or your item is in your home. So the more that you spend, the larger sort of the GPS radius that your tile will go to. Um, I saw some questions when I was looking at information on it online, like you can't put it in your kid's backpack really to track your kids down because it needs to be within a, a certain radius of, um, of a Bluetooth enabled device. But if it's something for in your home, so if your kids are always losing their shoes, I mean, I guess you could probably use it that way. Um, but if you're always you know, setting your phone down and you're not sure what you did with it or you're losing your keys, this is a really great way that you can just sort of pick up your phone and look and say, oh, look, there are my keys. I left them in the car or I left them on the bathroom counter. Um, if, for instance, you're looking for your phone, you then use the web-based browser and um, you can see GPS location of where your phone last was. So um, it's a really cool thing for people who tend to lose things. Uh, it's $35 on Amazon right now. I think they run up to $60. Um, but, you know, it's a cool, tiny little thing that can help you keep track of those little items in your life that you um, <laughs> could lose on a regular basis, right? Um Last up in the big kids section is going to be these wine to go cups, which I think are absolutely hysterical. I'm gonna take off the little thing at the bottom so you can see the bottoms there. Um, so I actually received these as a gift from my sister last year, and it's basically like an adult style sippy cup. Uh, there's a sippy cup top to it, and they are plastic, but it's a tumbler that the wine glass sits down in. I used mine several times last summer. I um, I took them to picnics, I took them to picnics at the park, I used them in my backyard so that I didn't break any of my actual wine glasses. Um, it's just kind of a fun, kitschy item that would actually be useful for the people in your life that like to drink wine. You know, for a Secret Santa gift, maybe you could put a nice bottle of wine in one of these cups inside of a stocking for somebody, and it would be something that they would actually get use out of, and then the wine, of course, would be consumed, so you're not creating more clutter in their homes. Um, the Wine To Go cups cost $15 for two on Amazon. Depending on what color you get, they can go up to, I think, $17 to $19, you know, if you get fancy. Um, you could also go to Michael's or some sort of craft store and buy a market marker to draw on it if you wanted to create a special, you know, saying or a special picture for somebody that's important to you. But the wine to go cups can be a really fun addition to a stocking for the big kids in your life. Um, and moving from the big kids to the kids of all ages. Next up, we're going to talk about the um, it's called uh, funny side up and they are egg shapers. So for me personally, I love making breakfast for my kids, especially on the weekends when we have a little bit more time, but I do like to sort of powwow in the mornings with my kids before uh, they go to school, and so I feel like breakfast is a really great way to do that. So a couple of years back, I bought them pancake shapers, which are the same sort of thing. They're a silicone shape that we can shape pancakes in. Um, and this year, I got these funny side up egg shapers, and they run, um, they're all different prices on Amazon, um, but they they run about $6 each if there's a particular one you want, or I actually purchased this set for about $12. And you can see here, so here is the bunny rabbit. And what happens is, you know, the yolks will go in the eyes, 
and um, then the whites will go on the outside. And it's just sort of a cute and fun way to start out your day. Um, this one I love because my little four-year-old will absolutely love it. It's a skeleton. And then super cute little owl also, which is super fun. Um, you could probably use these for pancakes too if you wanted to. Um, but, uh, you know, the idea being that the little yellow eyes would be super cute for their breakfast in the morning. Um, and again, all of these products that I'm talking about today, there is a photo album on my Facebook page um, that you can go to that says is called Practical Stocking Stuffers. And there will actually be links to the products or at least to the website where you can find these products. So funny side up egg shapers. And they're from a company called Fred and Friends, which if you have somebody who likes to cook um, and also likes things that are a little kitschy, they have have a really cool shop on Amazon. You can find all sorts of fun stuff in there. Um, next up for kiddos is, uh, these are called a Bucky Boo Boo. Um, so I'm going to talk about the Bucky Boo Boo and then the Boo Boo Buddy. Um, they're very similar. Um, the Bucky Boo Boo, you can have both warm and cold and it's for when kids you know they might have fallen down or they're just not feeling well um and they want to snuggle something warm uh before they go to bed at night or with the you know the boo-boos you put it in the freezer and they can put it on you know a bump or bruise on the head and this one has sort of a soft terry cloth outside to it and they run about 15 or i'm sorry about 12 to 13 dollars each on amazon but they're super cute they're perfect size for a stocking and if you've got a, a little one who just sort of needs a cold thing um my sister's kids introduced me to that saying where when they would get boo-boos they wanted an ice pack of some sort and so they wanted a cold thing and so this is sort of a cute cold thing that you could have um you could also use it you know double do as an ice pack in lunches or in picnic baskets or something like that so it doesn't just have to be for boo-boos it can also you know have that added feature to it um, the boo-boo buddy is very similar it's slightly less expensive um, and let me and they come in a ton of different shapes and sizes there's probably 25 different boo boo buddy shapes on Amazon. The thing is, is that none of the ones that I saw were prime. So if you were to order it from Amazon, particularly, you may have to pay a shipping cost, which will bring the cost to about $10 a piece once you add in the shipping. But um, they have a huge selection. The other thing you could do is go to the boo boo buddy website and see if there's a local retailer near you that would be selling the boo-boo buddies and um, then you could go there and pick up one that you think that your kids would like but um, for around ten dollars it's a fun little thing that you can add to lunch boxes but then also have as sort of a comforting thing when your kids get boo-boos um, keeping with the sort of fun um, but you know necessary items um i love these firefly toothbrushes i discovered these actually kind of by accident a couple of years ago, I um, was uh, very late on Christmas Eve and I went out to purchase um, stuff for my kids' stockings because we had kind of waited to the last minute and then we determined that we really didn't have enough. Um, we didn't really have much of anything. And so I went out to Walgreens, which was the only place that was open late on Christmas Eve, and I ran across these toothbrushes. And so this one here, this is the one that's in the picture there, but I'm going to show you here when you press the button, if I can find it. There we go. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. So the toothbrush actually lights up. You can kind of see there it's flashing. It will actually light up and it flashes for one minute. So it makes the lightsaber sounds, it flashes. And the idea is it keeps your kid brushing for the full minute. And they have several different styles and varieties of these. Um, my kids love these. And <laughs> I've started using them as a filler for um, Easter baskets. I give them to them for their birthdays. And it kind of hits all those high points throughout the years that you're supposed to be still going. You're supposed to be um, changing up the um, the toothbrushes. Um, we also have, this, so the, the normal ones that they have, here's a Spider-Man one. This one came um, at one point. And you can see here how it flashes. And it will go, still going. 
green, yellow, red to tell them to stop brushing. And they have all different sorts of options out there. Um, here you can see here um, these are available on Amazon but it, I feel like the price is really high I actually got the Star Wars one at Target this week they had them on sale for $3.99 I think they're normally $4.99 and they had a pretty good selection of the Firefly toothbrushes there um, but if you go to the fireflytoothbrush.com website you would be able to find um, all the different varieties that they sell and look for a manufacturer near you that would be selling Selling those toothbrushes so fun toothbrushes always a good thing to throw in the stocking you can never have a clean enough toothbrush right and with the kids I mean mine who knows where those toothbrushes will end up in our house so I like to change them out frequently and why not have something fun um, I also noticed that it really does keep them brushing longer to have those um, those flashing toothbrushes for a minute. So um, Firefly toothbrushes and keeping in sort of the bathroom arena, we have these really funny um, bandages. So they make all different kinds of super funny bandages out there. I've seen mustaches. I've seen ones that look like bugs that are crawling on your skin. Um, I have seen, um, you know, all different types. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is like my probably my favorite that I've ever seen. But these these here are Shakespearean insult bandages, which obviously might be for someone a little bit older because your kids might not get the jokes, but they're super funny. Um, they run about $8 a package. So obviously, if your kid goes through bandages really quickly, they may not last very long in your house but they um, they can be something funny and once again make boo-boos not seem so bad these are absolutely hilarious I actually want to order these for myself they're bacon bandages so yeah, obviously your little um, uh, your little boo-boo would look like it was wrapped in bacon although I'm afraid that my dog might try to eat my finger if I tried to put something like that on it. But um, if you go to Amazon and you just say funny bandages and do a, a search for it, you will get all kinds of different things that will come up. And of course, you know, there's things like if your kid is really into My Little Pony or Paw Patrol or Transformers, all of those have bandages out there. And if you're the mom that's like, I am not spending the extra money for those novelty bandages, you know, maybe Christmas is the time that it's good to sort of put those in the stocking and say, all right, we'll have them right now, but then we're back to the basic ones after this is all over. So um, fun bandages, always fun out there. Um, next up, uh, any sort of baking things. I personally love baking with my kids and I found a couple of really cool ideas. Um, if, if you yourself are a baker or it's something that you like to engage with your kids, that's that's something, again, that um, like the books that I showed at the beginning or these baking things, that's a relationship that I like to have with my kids. So what are the things that you like to do with your kids? And are there things that are small enough to put into a stocking that can sort of enhance that relationship? And um, the uh, the baking pans, this here is a train. So if you've got a kiddo in your life that likes a train, it's a silicone mat. So you would totally be able to roll it up and stick it down in a stocking very easily. I think the dimensions on this were um, like 12 inches by six inches or something like that. Um, and what's really cool is that you then put the two parts together and you can make these really cool little train things. So how fun would it be um, over Christmas break to bake up a little train set with your kiddo? Or um, if they're not into trains, this set here was about $10 and it comes with a unicorn, a dinosaur, a butterfly, and an owl. And again, these are about 10 inches by six inches. So small enough and they're made out of silicone. So um, obviously they're very flexible. You can stuff them down in a stocking, stocking. But if you've got a kiddo in your life that really enjoys baking or it's something that you enjoy doing with your kids, it's something that um, you could add to their stocking and, you know, you could work on over Christmas break, you know, something fun to do over Christmas break. My favorite that I actually purchased for my guys this year are these cookie cutters. Um, so my six year old um, to say that he likes dinosaurs is an understatement of the year. And um, so these are super cool dinosaur cookie cutters. And as you can see in the picture, it not only has the cookie cutter, but it also has an impression um, part to it. So basically, um, 
I've got them here. So here is the cookie cutter. We've got a little triceratops there that you can see. And then once you've made the cookie, you then take the here and I, yep, you can see how it's got the raised edges on it. And you just push that down into the cookie. Oops, I put it the wrong way. Um, see, I should know how to do this. It's not that hard. So you push that down in there and then it makes the impression so that when you go to decorate the cookie, all the little bones are there for you to fill in and decorate. So then it looks more like a fossil. And I'm giving these to my six year old this year in his stocking. And I've already had plans to make up some sugar cookie dough and have that in the freezer and um, or in the refrigerator so that on Christmas afternoon, if he wants to make cookies or at some time during Christmas break, we can make those dinosaur cookies together because um, he actually had seen these someplace. I don't remember where it was and asked for them several months back. And I sort of made a mental note of, oh, I want to make sure that I get those for his stocking for Christmas. So skeleton cookie cutters, this set here um, runs about $12 on Amazon. And um, I think it's just a, a really fun sort of thing to for the interest of what your kids have. You know, they have all different sorts of cookie cutters. If you go someplace like Sur La Table, you literally can get a cookie cutter for any and everything. If you have a kid that's into horses or if you yourself are into horses, Donna, they have horseshoes and they have horses and they have cowboy hats and boots. Um, you know, if you have a kid that's into sports, they would have football helmets and footballs and things like that. So anything like that, that if you personally love to bake with your kids, um, then you could sort of combine the two things of baking with your kids and a practical gift for their stocking. Um, wrapping up our um, kids of any ages is um, tools. And I found this tool set on um, Lowe's.com. It's actual tools. So there, it's not just like fake tools or, um, you know, something that is like, oh, I'm going to make something pretend. These are actual tools that can be used by kids, but they're sized for kids' hands. Um, this whole set that's on the picture right here is $15. It's actually $14.98, but $15 at Lowe's. And, um, and it comes with everything pictured there. What I was thinking about doing with this was breaking it up between the two stockings or potentially giving them some of the things in the stocking and then maybe putting the rest of it into the toolbox and wrapping that up. But um, we recently went through a kitchen remodel. And whenever I was working in the kitchen, my four year old would come in and he would want to help. Well, he would bring his plastic tools downstairs. And the one day he actually said to me, Mom, can I get a real hammer that's for kids, not for adults? And so that's kind of what piqued my interest to go look for something like this. But um, if you've got kids in your life that are really into handiwork, you know, and they want to build a birdhouse or something like that, or they, you know, just they like to tinker. Um, this is really great because it's a kid's set that will grow with them, unlike the, the play toys and the plastic cameras and things like that that can't actually be used for anything. Um, Lowe's actually has some really great um, build building uh, little wooden building sets of race cars and monster trucks and construction vehicles and things like that that run about seven dollars too so you could put us in the stocking the tools and one of those little craft projects and that's something that you could build together as a family and of course speaking of craft projects like Anytime that you want to throw in paints or crayons or markers, anything like that, if your kid tends to be really um, motivated by art or really likes to do um, art projects, crafts projects, anything like that, you know, hit up Michaels and get all the little pom poms and glitter and things like that to help complete their art uh, or in craft collection. Um, so moving on from kids, we're going to finish up today with eco-friendly ideas because people that know me know that this is something that I'm pretty passionate about. Um, I I have a really a trouble throwing stuff away. <laughs> um, no, that shouldn't be right. I don't have trouble throwing stuff away, but I, I prefer to have things in my household that aren't going to contribute to landfills and waste. So the first thing I want to talk about are these stainless steel straws. And the ones that are in the picture right there are from a company called Norwex. And I actually bought these and put them in my guy's stockings a couple of years ago. And um, these, these, the ones from Norwex here, that's four and they run $16.99. And again, there's a link to all of these products in the Practical Stocking Stuffers picture album in on my Facebook page. But um, so these straws, I, I sort of 
was interested in them when I found out that there's 500 million straws that are thrown away a year. And that is the equivalent of 127 school buses that um, are thrown away. And most of the time straws are not recycled or there's many places that can't even recycle them. So I love having these um, stainless steel straws for my guys. Um, we used to buy straws and they would like to drink in them all the time. But um, this one has a little bit of a bend to it and it goes down and it's probably um, all in all about 10 inches tall. So for the taller glasses that you would have in your house, um, I put two in each of their stockings. We did that two years ago. They are one of the things that we use most with the kids. Um, we've moved away from sippy cups and we like to use the straws instead. So um, stainless steel straws. And if you like to do smoothies and milkshakes and things like that, there's actually a straight version that is available also. Now these I found on Amazon, they're a little bit thicker. So that's better for um, things that like a smoothie or a milkshake. The um, the curved ones do tend to get a little clogged up. Uh, the great thing about this set is it's $6.99 for four. They're a little bit shorter. They're only eight and a half inches tall. So they're better for shorter glasses. And um, they also come with a cleaning uh, brush, which if you do decide to get the stainless steel straws, I highly recommend getting a cleaning brush also because they do kind of get icky um, in there. So stainless steel straws anywhere from about $7 for four up to $16 for four. And it's a great way to get straws for your kids, but then also help the environment. Uh, next, we are going to talk snack bags. Um, hold on, I got my sample is like way over here. Um, so I had purchased this one for my guy three years ago when he started preschool. This is from a company called Itsy Ritzy and it has a zipper top to it. Um, it's actually a sandwich size bag. So it's a little bit bigger than the ones that I have in the picture for you. The one in the picture here, um, runs two for $10 on Amazon. And these actually are Velcro closure ones. And these are more the size of the Ziploc snack bags. But the great thing about it is, again, you're not contributing to the waste stream by throwing away the Ziplocs that you have or anything like that. Um, they are washable. I have um, thrown mine in the delicate cycle in my wash machine. They also say that they are uh, dishwasher safe, which I haven't personally done that, but if you wanted to throw them into the dishwasher, you could do that. Typically what I do with mine is I just throw them, um, I wipe out the inside when I'm doing my dishes, pull out the insides and just lay them on my dish drainer to dry. Um, but I have some for both kids and we've been using them for a couple of years now. They hold up really well and I, I feel good because I'm contributing less to the waste stream by reusing these snack bags. So usually you can find them for anywhere from like five up to $15. They even had some really great sets that had four different sizes for like sandwiches and larger sizes and really small snack sizes. And they have ones that even look very adult. Um, you know, this obviously with the dinosaurs is, is pretty kid friendly, but, um, they had ones on there that had this really cool sort of houndstooth print or this sort of gray muted tone that you could use for adult lunches too. So if you or your spouse packs their lunch regularly and wants to get away from using plastic bags and things like that, this might be a great um, stocking stuffer for them. And finally, one of the favorite things that I have put into my kids' stocking, we did these last year. These are the squishy reusable pouches. So these are great for um, if your kid loves the applesauce pouch, or the yogurt pouches. We um, we go through phases with these because we had used them a lot back when my now four year old was you know still eating baby food. So you know like four years ago, um, and then we got away from them. And then um, once they started taking their lunches to school, everybody had pouches, and um, so we went back to them. Um, it's fifteen dollars for a set of six, which um, is a little expensive for the initial investment. But if you think that uh, when you buy four pouches at uh, the grocery store, it usually runs about $3 for um, four pouches. And you're just going to throw those away. And they aren't recyclable per se. Um, there's some companies that will take them and recycle them, but you can't just throw them in your recycling bin. So these are great because they're reusable and they're refillable. And this is the set of six that 
I got from my guys for $15 off of Amazon. I put three in each stocking and um, we use them. A lot of times I'll pack them up on a Sunday night. So I have a quick grab and go lunch that I can grab for them. Um, I'll do yogurt. I'll do um, applesauce, anything that's sort of smooth consistency like that you can throw into these pouches. Um, they are pretty easy to clean. I just use the bottle brush. Um, you know, I use that to clean glasses and things like that anyways. So a bottle brush in there, clean them out. Um, as long as you do it, uh, pretty soon after you've, you've emptied them. You don't want to let it sit over the weekend. It may be a little bit harder to get the crusty yogurt out of there. But um, the squishy reusable pouches, and there's all different sorts of reusable pouches. I just really like these because they had the cute animal figures on them and I was going to give them to my kids. Um, so uh, that is all I have for you today as far as stocking stuffers for my ideas. Um, if you have any ideas that you want to add to the comments below, please please, please, please do so. And also while you are potentially getting your ideas in, I want to tell you about an upcoming class that I have that will be starting in uh, January on January 15th. So my teach your kids organizing by organizing yourself class is uh, less about um, this is how you fold your t-shirts and this is how you um, should should sort things and things like that. It's more about getting to the root of how you organize because what I was seeing time after time with my clients is that they would struggle with things like what means most to me or what uh, what is my priorities? I would say, well, which one is your favorite? And they would have trouble picking out what their favorite was. So we'll address a lot of those issues in there about setting up your value system and what is your priority and then how to apply that to the stuff and time that you have as a parent and then sort of how to learn how to strike a balance between what's important to you and what's necessary as a parent and how you can transfer that into living a more organized life. So that is gonna be starting on January 18th and if you want more more information or you want to buy tickets for that um, you can find it on my Facebook page organizing with simple solutions and there's actually if you sign up before December 31st there's a $10 off coupon if you use the code early bird so um, I want to say thank you for watching this video today I hope that you got some ideas that you might be able to utilize as secret Santa gifts or stocking stuffers that are practical but not boring per se um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my Q&A in January Take care. Bye. Go ahead.